-hmm. It came from a can. Season one and two retrospective. Man, can you believe we have 46 episodes of It Came From A Can? Mm, 46 episodes and only three of them edible. Well, at least five, according to our list coming up here. What? We're going to look over our top five favorite and top five least favorite <laughs> things Yay. from a can. Gonna talk over them a little bit, yeah, maybe man. give you a little bit of insight. Along with that, we're gonna do a little preview at the end here, of season three. Get a couple oh, clips in there. Yeah. Get you a little bit excited. It's coming up. Season coming up soon. Season three, bitches. And in between that, we're gonna give some shout outs to some friends of ours. I've got friends. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh. All right, so here we go. Top five best things out of cans. Number five pork brains. These things turned out to be pretty tasty, even though they looked like they would be disgusting. They had a unique texture, though. Let's check it out. It feels like there's more uh, wheat product in there. Yeah, something to keep them firm. Yeah, the starch, cornstarch. Okay. But they are very... Uh, I was expecting them to be slightly more gelatinous. Yes, exactly. And they're more, they're definitely more starchy like a... Oh, like a gnocchi? Yeah, gnocchi is the perfect perfect uh, comparison as far as texture goes yeah number four quail eggs these little guys i wasn't uh, too sure about them but they ended up being surprisingly good you check out the footage fucking hard boiled egg man yeah yeah dude that's good yeah that's uh, surprising that's a little good. bit of salt and pepper yeah bring, bring out some salt fuck yeah dude <clears throat> i fucking whacked out with this shit it's like fucking Easter eggs, only without the fucking trouble of finding them. They're all conveniently in one little can. Number three, Haggis. We were terrified of this one. It's made out of like long and gross, but it actually turned out really good. Shit, dude. <laughs> Considering what it says it has in the ingredients, this will be in half bad. I could actually find myself eating this stuff more often. Yeah, this is breakfast. I can I can picture that with like uh, some haggis and mashed potatoes or fries, like they were saying. Throw down some hash browns and some eggs. Man, this shit's fucking not all bad. That'd be good. That'd be a good breakfast. Number two, aloe vera drink. Uh, I originally tried to chug this from the can, and uh, I about puked myself because I was not expecting chunks to be in there. Chunks are bad, but it was very tasty. <laughs> Looks kind of gross. Like there's tadpoles or shit in there. Well, it's actually not that bad. All things considering, there's a little bit of a surprise coming out of the can there. Number one, bacon. This was the one that started it all, and of course it ranks at the highest. Cause, you know, it's bacon, come on. Even out of a can, bacon is delicious. Oh. What's that taste like? I'm oh, actually some pretty tasty bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Never would have thought bacon in a can would have been good. I'm gonna have to order some more of this shit. I'll be damned. <laughs> it just tastes like bacon. This is some pretty good bacon. Nice. Mmm. Bacon in a can. And here's our honorable mention of spam. It's a little mainstream to rank it within the top five, but I mean, come on, it's spam. Everybody loves spam. And if you don't, I hate you. Yeah, so that was pretty good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, some better than others, but you know, they were all pretty tasty. Yeah, yeah, I was down with it. So yeah, okay. Now, we got the top... Top five. I guess top, maybe the bottom five? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> it... Whatever. The, the it's five. the worst shit we've ever oh, eaten. Oh, blah, blah. It's just... <sighs> yeah, bad stuff. Number five, seaweed salad. I don't know how this is a salad exactly. It's just disgusting, salty, kelpy grossness. Not even Popeye would eat this shit. Is it as bad as it smells? <laughs> <laughs> Like 
smell of dried ass salty <laughs> kelp. <laughs> dried ass as an adjective and not just yes, dried ass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If that's if that smell had a flavor, that's what that would be. <laughs> Number four, silkworm pupae. Uh, there's not much to say that isn't gonna be said by the video. If you haven't watched it, I recommend it. Here's a short little clip from it. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> he put it in his mouth for two seconds. Uh, it's like eating a peanut, but it tastes like fucking death. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, top shell, otherwise known as sea snail. This stuff was just terrifyingly gross. You can tell by the look on Sketch's face. Come on, Sketch, it's just chicken. All right, well, I'm just gonna take a big bite. Ow! That's actually the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. Don't ever eat that shit. Number two, Vegemite. This was part of our mite special. It was not tasty. Uh, we had a couple people around. We had Rabbit and Ponies were our special guests. And uh, they got to share the horror that was Vegemite along with yeah. us. <laughs> oh, oh, God. A big old bite. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, dude, it is so salty. <laughs> Swallow! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> Take a drink of your beer. It won't leave my mouth. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, beans cake. You know it had to be this. Oh, it's so gross. So salty and vinegary. It's like eating vomit. <laughs> oh god. And of course, Sketch took a swig. Check that out too. Maybe I ought to have a little drink. And for our honorable mention, we have fried squid in a can. Um, can be best described as duck vaginas. It was not tasty. Ah, so that was a great trip down memory lane of disgusting. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, but we're past that now. Are we? No, Are we're we not. Really? No, we're not. Season three is going to be so much worse. So much oh worse. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. So we got some shout outs for our friendly friends here on the YouTubes. We gotta start out with Bobby's Tips. He's been a friend of ours for the longest time. We can't even remember when. Yeah, he's been around for a long time. He also does a Granger blog. Granger blog. You must check it out. Oh, it's uh... I think it's hilarious. Yeah, it's it's something else. This cat is crazy. He is, definitely. It's good stuff. And he's got a charming accent, so what more can you ask for? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Next shout out is Reckless eating. Reckless! Reckless eating! The guys over there, Mad Zion and Chris Reckless, man. Crazy. Those fellows. guys are basically our heroes now. They kind of do the same thing, except better, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. They do. <coughs> Skankerito. Oh, man. I can't even. I can't, can't shake. I mean, I don't know how they do that. I don't no, know how they do it. It's crazy. bad enough just doing one of those items, let alone mixing them into a putrefied concoction oh, of man. nastiness. I can't, even, I can't even imagine. It's gross. You guys are gross. Yes. But I love it. So yes. keep doing it. Keep being gross. Yes. It's fantastic. Yeah. Rash and Revere. Rash and Revere. <laughs>
Apparently we inspired him to do what he does now. He reviews rations. Yeah. And they're totally entertaining, man. Just Yeah, it's pretty crazy. good. It's pretty good. Dude's crazy. Most of it's like 40 minutes of just one cut, which is hilarious. <laughs> I and, love long cuts. Yeah, yeah, you and know, you know, like you gotta give it to him. He's eating like 20-year-old French <laughs> rations okay, and it's, shit. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, that's great. I'm, I'm surprised he doesn't have dysentery. Next, we got our boy Tony Bruschi. Tony Bruschi at the Taste Spot. The Taste Spot. He does a much more professional show than we do. <laughs> By far. Way better production values. It's pretty cool to check out. He had Gary Vanderchuk on a show the other day, man. It's it's crazy. You know, like he reviews kitchen gadgets. He cooks food. It's great. It's kind of like an all-around cooking channel. It's worth a check. Yeah. Wade Nixon. Wade Zero Nixon. I don't know how to pronounce it. All I know is this cat can drum like a motherfucker, and he does some awesome beats to the video games. Sonic, Mega Man, you gotta check this shit out. Yeah. It is fucking By the way, where's my Mega Man 3? Come on, man. I need it. I need that shit. I need to hear you playing Mega Man 3. Come on. Go check that guy out. He's awesome. Awesome drums. Next we have Platypus Guitar. The Insanely Sexy Potato Show. Insanely Sexy Potatoes. It's a pretty cool cooking show. Very good instructions. The camera's always on the food, so you always know like what it looks like when you're cooking it, mm -hmm. which I think is awesome. And the meals are relatively easy and simple to cook, too. Insanely sexy potato sexy show. Sexy potato. Go check it out. We also got Candy Surge. He's a relatively new friend of ours. He does these awesome little short and very informative little uh, videos about different candies, like Nako, Nako Sky Bar. Yeah. Who knew? yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. It's awesome. It's got calories and all Crazy. that stuff. Fills out the little information thing. Yeah. It's got cool little, yeah, little sound effects. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's good stuff. Go check that guy out. So yeah, those are our buddies on the YouTubes. It's great to give them a shout out. Woot woot. Our followers have probably seen some of them already. If you haven't. Oh, I, I, man, I hope you do. I you're already check on them YouTube. out now. You're already on YouTube wasting your time watching us. Why not waste your time watching something else cool? Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Be productive, multitask people. Yeah, watch two things at once. Watch yeah. four things at the same time. Yeah. We all know you got an ADHD anyways, that's why you're here. Come on. So as we're coming close to season three, we're also coming close to 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, which is incredible. Yeah. Awesome. Hell, I remember when we had 30 subscribers and I was shitting myself. Yeah, it was amazing. So. It was great. So, uh, man, we just do it because we're crazy. Yeah, and apparently you people are more crazy than we are. Yeah. Because you love it. That's weird. You guys watch us. Thank you so much, though, for coming along on the ride. We definitely got a lot more coming. A lot more coming. A lot worse stuff coming, that's for sure. These top, the top five worst list, definitely changing during season three. I'm not looking Ugh. forward to it. Ugh. 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 Bad stuff. <laughs> Bad. For those of you who uh, have Twitter... You already know this. <laughs> yeah, you might you might know what we're talking about. For those of you that don't know what we're talking about, maybe you should fucking get our Twitter! Twitter! Right there! Oh, here it is. I'm gonna put a, put a link right here. And you could also follow us on Facebook. I remember when you were the Facebook man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I know, I don't. <laughs> I think you are Wink Levis over there. No, dude. <laughs> I'm um, fucking Justin Timberlake. <laughs> oh, you're the Napster guy. Bring it on down to Lakeville! <laughs> <laughs> you're the Napster guy. So, as we sign off, we're going to give you a quick little sneak peek of what we got coming up in Season 3. I hope you enjoy. Oh, here it is. Check it out. <coughs> oh, God. And it actually does help. Alright. Kitty's going to try it. It came from a bag. Fruit-flavored beef jerky. Dude, that is just so disgusting. You should look like this face when you're eating a snack. <coughs> Ooh, that is a fishy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, dude, why do we do this? <laughs>